Hello, welcome back to Major Minor. This is Cross, and uh, last time we we got the totally shocking reveal that nobody, and I do mean nobody, saw coming. Max was the killer. Oh my god, dude, I couldn't possibly have seen that coming at all. Holy shit. So, we're gonna continue on with the plot. And I'm really shocked that we're, like, at chapter 5 already. I didn't expect that. <laughs> So we got done with these two fuckers. Um, all right, so the throne room. <laughs> this dude, <clears throat> I wish I knew what to do. Honestly, Dusk, I'm so conflicted. I can understand given your situation. Who the hell are you? I fear my allies are turning against me. I'm just trying to help everybody, Dusk. You've done a fine job of that, my lord. You definitely have my allegiance. For that, I am honored. But they don't appreciate my secrecy. I haven't been really been transparent. Maybe you should tell them your secrets then, if you're being, like, so worried about that. I've been very quiet about my plans. And that means one important thing. People will fill the cracks with imagination. Their own thoughts make me a villain. People tend to do that, especially under such grim circumstances. Many citizens think worst case scenario. Hmm? They don't have they don't have this life of luxury. I think you should visit the people. Work in public relations would be great. I'm not sure about public relations. No amount of that would fix what's coming. Tell me, Dusk. If you could do something truly amazing, would you do it without hesitation? Without a doubt. What if the world hated you for it? They wouldn't see the good right away, no matter how beautiful things ended up. I... I'm not sure, my lord. If it was good, it, it would be obvious. I don't see why people would hate it. See, I can sense hesitance to us, but don't worry, I feel the same way. Especially when the time is finally here. And now I'm just not sure. It's like a Kingdom Hearts conversation, this sucks. Do not let your resolve falter, my king. Especially not based on others' opinions. There are always those who will oppose you. I'm afraid that is the only advice that I have. It is not bad advice. I am glad I sought your counsel. You must be thinking me foolish. The immortal king, <laughs> doubting his actions. I'm supposed to know everything, aren't I? Again, that's just something that people say. Don't become who they think you are. You'll only end up losing your true self. And that is something we cannot lose. You are wise beyond your years, especially as numerous as they've been. Yes, they have been many, but I fear this may be my last. Gasp! Dun dun dun! Oh no, the Immortal King is going to fucking die! Oh, we're back at the Ark. Okay. Again, at a much earlier time. Oh boy. How fucking, like, intimidating. Oh, you. <clears throat> you want me to do what? I'm sorry, I believe I misheard you. I'm afraid you didn't, Miss Armstrong. But you know who I am. I'm in the business of protecting others. You can't expect me to consider this. Yes, you do like to protect others, but this comes with something else. You understand the importance of death. It is everywhere, and it is unavoidable. While all around us, it consumes us. The power of death is immeasurable. Why does she have to kill people? Surely you've been touched by it as well. Perhaps you've lost someone dear to you. Someone you'd give anything to see again. Even the lives of others, perhaps. Yes, I have. But you can't just... Think of it this way, Max. You know what the Ark is capable of. You could bring the end to death as a whole. That's what you want, isn't it? That's what your company is dedicated to. Protecting others, saving them from death. Nobody would have, to, would have to lose a loved one again. No one would experience the pain, the grief. Surely, this is worth what I'm asking. 
You're asking me to kill! But think of the loved ones you've lost. Wouldn't you like to see them again? Bring them back? Have them full of life? He's totally not lying to you, Max, I swear. Totally not bullshitting you. And dear God. <coughs> there has to be some other way. I'm afraid that there isn't. You've been running from death for too long. It's time to embrace it now. Live it. The ruler of the Ark must not fear death. They cannot hesitate in the face of it. You have to confront it head on, Max. You've mastered the concept of life. Your company is dedicated to preservation. Now it's time to embrace the other side. It's true, you protect people from death, but no matter what, death still exists. You need to gain a greater understanding. It's, I like how he's saying you should take the red pill, Max. Fucking crap. Only then will you be fit to rule. A ruler is a master of every avenue, not just one or a few. A ruler can never quote-unquote pretend. Until now, you've run away from death. To rule the Ark, you must master it. I... I don't know what to say. This isn't something I should consider. But standing here and, and seeing this place... It gives your words more importance. This place is truly beautiful, but... I'm not sure if this is worth it. Why is she, like, the only voice of reason? I fucking hate this game. But she's right. Like, I don't think I could kill people, especially when he's, like, spewing out obvious bullshit. <clears throat> if you're being honest about this power, I can't afford to deny your request. An end to death. That's what I've always wanted. But at the cost of more death, I don't know if I want to stain my hands. I never said it had to be you, Max. Remember the gear that I've given you. Using it, accidents could happen. It's still her, jackass. Are you dumb? Also, let's not be stupid here. You use your products for your own gain. I can think of a few times without effort. How does he know that? Just who is this guy? <coughs> Give me a moment to think about it, please. Of course, it's not an easy decision to make. By all means, take your time. <clears throat> okay, let's recap here, Max. I was at home like I normally was, and after dozing off, I found myself here. Apparently, it's a place called the Ark. I don't know, if she knows that she fell asleep, why isn't she just thinking of it as like a weird fucking dream? I don't know why she's like legitimately considering what's going on in here, but okay. <sighs> the current owner wants to leave, so he's taking time to seek a replacement. He told me that it controls time's flow, but he said it controls life and death, too. That means he can kill anyone he wants, or he can keep those he likes alive. For some reason, I'm in this contest, but I have to prove my mastery over death. Managing Armstrong is mastering life. I guess I need to see the other side. Maybe that's why he chose me, I'm halfway. Yo, first I've mastered light, and now death? Also, get out of here, support assist. Fuck. Holy shit, okay. First I mastered life, and now death. But I need to kill people to do that. But I don't know, I usually do the opposite. However, he hinted I could use weapons, so that part is somewhat appealing. Damn, fucking psycho bitch. Wait a minute. If what he said about the Ark is true, I can just resurrect those I've killed. In this place, it is just symbolic. My actions wouldn't be permanent. He's bullshitting you, Max. What the fuck? Unless I lose, of course. But with all this power, I, I couldn't. Control of time and company assets? I don't think it's possible to lose. I'd have all the time in the world. You're a genius, Max. You can play him. Do what he wants and then reverse it all. I like how it's trying to be like Max is a good person this entire time, even though she clearly isn't. She's being a fucking psycho in the current day, so... <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> all right. I'm in. Can you give me more specifics? Yes, of course. A world tour is about to launch in Tokyo. I suggest buying a plane ticket. You'll be needed there right away. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? <laughs> Present time. Oh boy. This bitch. We're back at the conference room. 
I gazed at my phone for it seemed like an eternity. I simply couldn't process what it was I was seeing. Someone else had gained powers from the Ark. I knew that man wasn't telling me everything. No, you didn't. Fuck off. My initial instinct was to show this to Archeron. Why? He- Oh, I thought you were saying, like, tell him about the Ark, and I'm just like, why? But I couldn't reveal my powers to him just like that. In fact, I don't know who I could show this to. I'd likely have to keep this to myself, and this is awful. Why couldn't someone on my side have powers? Well, do you know, things have not gone my way since I've returned from Terra. I suddenly long for the simpler times of yesterday, back when my biggest worries were Rook and Kill. I long for the peace of what I've experienced. Especially with the fact that there are weapons here. Even after what Singe said, I was still scared. But I guess Archeron was here to protect us at least. I should pay him another visit and keep him close. But then I remembered Singe wanted to deceive me. Perhaps he should said. Perhaps he could shed more, some more light on all of this. Because as of now, I feel like a prisoner here, and that was definitely not in the contest terms. I take a deep breath as I go to leave the room. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a box on the floor. It has a small blinking light on it, and it's red. Oh, it's a bomb! I don't remember seeing that before the conference. But that has to be one of the bombs. Yeah, no, in the original cut of this game, it wasn't weapons. They didn't refer to them as weapons. They just referred to them as, like, bombs. Because that's what they are. And it's so fucking stupid. Why would you lace a building with bombs? <sighs> Which means I need to get out of this room. With that as my only goal, I quickly walk out. Oh, boy. Would you like to save your game? Yes, please. Let me see. How long have I been playing for? Uh, 11 minutes. Yeah, sure. I'll continue playing. Why not? As soon as I step out, I see the same room as before, yet this time it feels different. When I was here before, I sensed grief and apprehension, but now I sense fright and anxiety. It's palpable. Whatever that means. I'm sure that after the conference, the press left. Why would they stay behind in a fucking bomb-laced building? For now, I was certain that it was just us here. By us, I mean those associated with the tour. I doubt I would run into any strangers for now. Knowing that, it felt easier to calm down. It was welcome in the face of what I had felt before. I quickly scanned the room to see who I could find. The room is practically empty. That's such a really odd, like, misspelling. I don't like that. I just see Archeron. He seems to be guarding the entrance to Singe's office. Almost instantly, he makes eye contact with me. Hey there, just who I was looking to see. Got a meeting with the man himself, huh? Would you be able to chat with me first? Something has been on my mind for a while. I mean, about the Prince Conference. I'm sure you know what I mean. A while, but it just happened, didn't it? In fact, I wanted to talk with you sooner, even before the conference began. I saw you go with Shock and Rocker. But I guess right now it's fine too. In fact, it might even be better. There's something eating away at me. Did my outburst go too far? I feel like Singe belittled me on stage. I don't think it went too far. Like, I have to I have to say that he didn't go too far, but no, he didn't go too far. Like, the fucker laced the building with bombs. Are you kidding me? That I probably would have fucking, like, punched him in the goddamn eye. Like, fuck off. His certainty shouldn't override my worry. I feel like it's a valid concern, Minato. You chastised me for doing what I'm paid for. I only acted out of interest to protect. I feel like others would have done it too, especially after learning about the weapons. My past with Armstrong is not related. I think it was rude for him to imply that, especially in front of the press. Yeah, no, Singe is being a little bitch, so yeah, no, Archeron's in the right, as much as I hate to say it. I have a reputation to uphold. A guard can't be emotional like that. There must be no conflict of interest. My agency doesn't approve of that. The one I work for, I mean. So that's what I'm wondering. Did I do something wrong on stage? Or was I acting as I should have? Maybe Singe was out of line. That's actually a pretty good question. I don't think there's a really right or wrong answer. No, there's a fucking right or wrong answer. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I can. Fuck off. Yeah, no. You were not in the wrong. 
I don't think Archon's in the wrong here. You can never really be wrong in a conflict of interest. Two sides clashing with opposing yet moral positions. Yeah, I know. Singe, lin Singe laced the building with bombs, and Archon was rightfully mad at that. Like, are you kidding me? Like, how was this supposed to be a moral conflict? Like, who wrote this game? Oh, wait, no, I remember who wrote this game. Fuck off, Clays. Holy shit. Or was Singe being moral here? Holding us in this building full of bombs. Archon speaking out against it was told- Yeah, see? Even the game agrees with me. In fact, he may have been the only one brave enough. The rest of us took the news in stride like little bitches. Why should he get in any heat for defending us? This is the viewpoint I explained to him promptly. Thank you. I feel much better after hearing that. I was worried I'd be alone in my sentiment. Self-doubt isn't ever easy to endure. It eats at you. Tears away from you inside. Not even all the time in the world can help. But I guess I should just move on. It does not affect my mission parameters. I need to protect everybody here. Everybody? That's not what he said before. Perhaps Singe gave him more duties. Well, you'll be safe in his office. While you're there, I'm meeting Daz. She's been acting a little odd lately. I don't know her very well, of course, but I can sense when something's off. Funny you should say that, I guess he can't pick up on what I'm feeling, fucking bitch. Especially with the text I just received. I thought it would be valiantly obvious for him. Maybe his mind is occupied with something else. Or perhaps someone else. Thank you for the little chat, Minato. I know it's stupid that we're confined, but I still feel somewhat free. I'll take my time to greet everyone. Starting with Daz, as I mentioned before. So if he'd be kind enough to excuse me. Goodbye. He walks away without saying another word, without even waiting for me to respond to what he said. I'm left in front of Singe's office with my thoughts. Thoughts that someone out there wants to kill. Thoughts that someone has powers from the Ark. Thoughts that we are surrounded by deadly bombs. Fuck off with using the word deadly weapons. They're, they're bombs. About to meet with the man who holds it all together and who locked us in a building laced with bombs. Singe, the manager of the world tour, the one in charge of everything, the mastermind, the puppet master. Why does this fill me with such unease? Uh, fuck if I know. Now that Archron is gone, I can hear voices. Without a doubt, they belong to Killa and Singe. The office is lit up with their conversation. I hope they didn't start without me. I'm not late. I can hear their voices as clear as day. <laughs> Save for a few muffled words, at least. In fact, now I'm curious as to what it is they're saying. What could be so important that they can't wait? Not all choices have immediate consequences. What do I need to do for the true ending? I hate the true ending flag system piece of shit. Like, that's like, this game is like, you have so much choice. Don't you don't? <laughs> You have, like, very little choice. You have, like, some choice in the beginning, but if you don't have enough true ending flags, you have to do exactly as the game wants you to do, and I'm not gonna replay this entire game again for the fucking true ending flags. So eat my ass. I was tempted to listen in, but I'll admit it was not in my nature. I trusted them enough not to hide anything from me. At least they haven't deceived me thus far. They were probably just making idle conversation. It's not like they sit there in silence without me. Yeah, because the world revolves around you. So without much pause, I open the door. Nope. Yeah, no, that was a true ending flag. It opens with relative ease, and I slowly go inside, hopefully to gain some answers from the man himself. Would you like to save your game? Yes. Oh my god. Alright, how long have I been playing for? 18 minutes. That's a good length. I'll continue later, because like my throat actually is like dying, so... Um, see you later then. It's been great, lads. <laughs> uh, so, five.